our trip to Aldi to get groceries for the week. So I'm just gonna go through a few things that I bought and um, show you what I eat in a week. So um, to start, I've just bought a bunch of like fruits and vegetables because they're easy to cook. I am a vegetarian, so I don't eat any meat. So I'll start off with um, snacks. I like to eat peaches, and I haven't had peaches in a long time, so we got some peaches. Blueberries and raspberries I'm gonna make for smoothies. Um, one of my favorite snacks is grapes, so good. I didn't, I've never had these before, but I saw these in quinoa chips. Seems like a good idea. Got some almond butter, we already have apples, so I'll eat this with my apples. Throw it in as protein for a shake. Cheese for snacks. I'll eat this with like crackers. We have some stuff like already. Obviously our kitchen isn't completely empty, so there's like bread and crackers and stuff we already have. Avocados and tomatoes. So we're gonna make some guacamole chips. Cause that's always a go-to. We're gonna make my eggs, I like to do that. And then for those, I also eat spinach. And we bought some pie crust to eat like eggs and stuff, but I just prefer almond milk because I don't eat a lot of milk that this just doesn't go bad and I can use it in smoothies and it's like light and easy. Make some quiche. Eating bagel seasoning, which I could only find at Trader Joe's before, but now I have some here in Kansas City while I'm staying with my parents for this quarantine. Um, so I'm excited about that because I like to put that on like avocado toast or on egg stuff. So we got some pasta and marinara, small thin crust pizzas. This I like to add um, to pretty much everything. I love cheese. So we have just the four cheese, veggie, spinach and garlic, and then tomato mozzarella pesto. I think it's two slices for 270, so that's pretty good when I have a pizza craving. I am here with the pasta, some potatoes on the side. Sometimes I'll eat just like potatoes, asparagus, and like a salad. I have like a big thing of spring mix to make salads for lunches. Some dinner sides like this for instance. Some squash, corn. Cauliflower, asparagus, and potatoes, etc. Oh, quinoa. I can do like a quinoa and butternut squash in um, spring salad, and it's really good. It reminds me of sweet green, which I miss and love dearly, but we'll get there someday. Someday I'll be able to go get and spend $15 on salads. But for now, we make our. Okay, so I think that pretty much covers everything. Um, if you're interested in seeing how I cook everything, go ahead and follow along. We're going to do some, I'm sure I've never done this before, so um, bear with me. Okay guys, so I actually for breakfast um, woke up and my mom wanted to go to the store, so I just ate like a little protein um, bar. Drinking my iced coffee, kind of like an egg thing because I usually eat eggs in the morning, but since I didn't have time to cook before going to the grocery store, I'm gonna make them now. So I guess this is kind of like a lunch breakfast situation. I don't know. Let's get started. <laughs> HGTV, um, breakfast, lunch, and watch HGTV. All right, so since it's Saturday, I'm going to drink some wine. So I'm back, it is time for dinner. We're gonna have some Parmesan lasagna, so yeah.
basically you just put um, noodle, ricotta, and then parmesan, and then mozzarella, and then sauce, and repeat. Um, I also threw in some egg plant, frozen eggplant. I might just redo this video later, but yep. <laughs> Oh my god. Boom chick pop, 70 calories per cup. I probably have like two cups, maybe three, I don't know. They're not really my new favorite. for dinner tonight. It'd be like that sometimes, Fudgy. Good morning, it's Tuesday. Um, today I'm gonna make some eggs and um, I'm gonna make like an avocado toast and put the egg on it and then sprinkle the everything bagel mix on top. So I'll show you guys how I'm doing that today. Wine while I wait 
for the oven to, oh, it's ready. I'm a little nervous, she might have to take me to the hospital. What? It's fine. Hmm. I'm a little on fire. <laughs> I'm sweating. Are you sweating? Mm-hmm. She used a quarter cup of hot sauce. sauce. That's what the recipe called for. Oh, shit. It's hot and spicy. Yeah, that's gonna go down and come out in a bad way. <laughs> Why? Okay, so it's Wednesday morning. I am feeling something a little bit light today. Um, so I'm going to come go ahead and make my smoothie.
we need to blend all the ingredients up and throw them in here. So, we have the... but I'm just having a little spring salad, corn, roasted potatoes, and yesterday's pasta. My dad made the corn on the grill and then roasted the potatoes in the oven, and they're having some meats, but I just had pasta and salad. 